Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to do some performance tests on the barrel router, the GLMT1300. The test consists of NAT, OpenVPN, and Wygod VPN throughput test. At the same time, we will try to enable the hardware flow of the thing and see if there any performance improvement in terms of NAT and routing. Let's log into the router. So currently we are running the SCPs on the one port of the barrel router, but it connected to the main rooted router. Before we run the speed test, let me establish the NH connection to the barrels and let's see the CPU uses when we are running the test. Alright, so 192.168.a.1, the port is 22, the default username is root, and the password is your router password. So as my configuration, it is Vantech Corner. Alright, so GLMT1300, okay, that's good. Let me try to open another terminals and run bmon. 168.a.1 and this time we log in and let me run the bmon so first of all I have config to show all the interface okay so alright so 172.16.9.252 is my one configuration so ethernet 0 0.2 so I will run bmon p ETH0.2 Alright, so we should be ready for the test and yep, let's put it here and this one right here Alright, so let's run top and run the test again For the simple download test, we have 447 MPBS downloads and 250 MPBS for upload. Let's run the test with another servers and monitors the throughput and the CPU uses. Alright, so 450, the CPU is at 28% idle. And for upload, we have average 300 MPBS and the CPU is at 13% idle. Right, so that should be enough for the simple NAT or speed test. Now I'm going to configure OpenVPN and Wygod VPN and let's see the throughput. The IP address has been changed from my local ISP to an IP address inside VLTR. Let me refresh the added edge connection, run top, and then let restart the connection and run bmon. Alright, so Alright, so bmon piece and then Ethernet 0 0.2. Okay, let's go. Alright, so with the Wygod VPN test to a server in Singapore, we are able to reach 102 MBBS for download and the CPU at 20% idle and we are able to reach also the same upload throughput. It is around 110 MBBS. And at this time, we have around 24% idle. Let's try with another server. This one M1 Singapore and let's see. Alright, so 110 MBPS download and the CPU is at 20% idle. On this side we have around 16 megabyte per second. Okay. 
speed test result with M1 limiters is a little bit slower. So let's try with a server in Vietnam. How about Viettel? Let's go. Alright, so with a local server, we had a little little faster and we are able to reach 114 Mbps on the download side. Let's see if the upload side improved. Upload test arose, looks like it's a problem with the network connection. It's not from the router, but from the ISV side. This is what I believe. So let's run the final test before we move on with OpenVPN. So 105 Mbps with 15% idle. All right, so 110 Mbps. Alright, so 105 Mbps download with 15% idle and with around the same and with the same MB, and with the same throughput for upload we have around 20% idle. So that should be more than enough for the Wygod VPN test. Now let disconnect and try with OpenVPN. And for your information, the OpenVPN server and the Wygod VPN server is the same server located in Singapore and it is provided by VULTR.com. Alright, so let's back to OpenVPN client, of course, and let's connect to it. Alright, so we are connected to the OpenVPN server and if I refresh the page right now, the IP address will be the same because it's actually the same server. So right here, it is the top command at usuals and the beamer. So let's run the test. Right, so we are able to reach 15 Mbps download and the CPU is at 44% idle. And we have the similar upload speed, it is around 13 Mbps with the CPU at 44% idle. Right, so let's try it like edge stop. Okay, so let's run the test again with another server. Let's try Singtel and check it. Alright, so as you can see, it's only one core or two core reach 100% uses. Alright, so as you can see, it's only one core reach 100% and the red is still very little uses. So the speed is almost similar with the first test. We have around 15 Mbps for download and upload with OpenVPN. This is still a downside with OpenVPN because it can't utilize all the cores or as you can see when we reach the download limit only certain cores or CPU reach 100% and the red is still very low uses. So let's try with a local server. VNPT, let's run it. Alright, so we can see that only one core is 100% right here, but the red have a very low uses. So the maximum speed we have with OpenVPN would be around 16 or 17 Mbps. Now let's try to enable flow uploading and hardware flow uploading and let's see if we have any improvements in the throughput. So this is an overview of the firewall and you can see it's located in etc slash config slash firewall and right here we have an option to enable flow of loading okay so let's do it via added age because right now i don't want to install lucy and make the change from lucy so let's try with a command line all right so let me clear this all 
first of all let's go to cds etc and then config and right here we have all kinds of configuration file so let's run v and then file wall hit enter all right so config default so press the i key to switch to the insert mode and put in something option let's see what's in the values flows of dotting and then the value is one because we want to enable it and then option flows of loading hardware one so this will be enough and now let's press the exe keys and then colon wq to run quick and then serve it network restart and that's all we need to do to enable the shortware and hardware flows uploading let's clear this let me refresh the page all right viettel netnam okay and let's see all right so with hardware flow of loading enable we have a huge improvement and the cpu is 875 mbps with the cpu at 94 percent idle we can see that the hardware accelerator features of this meta text soc really really doing a good job and everything happening smoothly so let's try with another server this is the viet tells and let's see all right so for this test the speed is not as fast as the previous one but as you can see the cpu is at 48 percent idle this is more than what we expected with the hardware flow of flooding feature that's what we have to do with the router with the nat with the wireguard vpn and open vpn so lastly i will try to establish a wireless connection to the routers via the 5g connection and let's see what the router can do in terms of wireless right so this is my wireless configuration we're running 80 megahertz and the channel is 36 the power is maximum and let's me connect to the routers this is this is this 5g connect and put in a password i will disable the wide connection and we are now connected wirelessly so we have one wireless client and this is my pc let's go to speedtest.net and the connection to the added edge were lost so let's try again root and the password and all right so at this one let me restart the section root and then the password all right and let's check what is the interface for the wireless connection all right so it looks like the radio zeros yeah our five gigahertz interface so let's give a try let's run beamon and then p and then r zeros hit enter and then on this side i will run top at the usuals and let's go all right so with the 5 gigahertz wi-fi connectors we are able to reach 42 megabyte per second it is now 46 and the cpu at 30 percent idle and we're having the same for the upload speed at 350 
Let's try with another server. All right, so, so far we have conducted some tests with the barrel, the GLMT1300, and we have been doing that and OpenVPN and Wygod VPN and also some turbo tests with flow of uploading enable and disable. And we can see that the performance of the little travel routers is really impressive. And in my opinion, it can be one of your core router to handle even like 200 Mbps or even 400 Mbps PPV connection for home users. All right, so that's all for this video. And I hope it will be useful when you are about to purchase this router or considering it as a device in your home or your office network. If you have any idea what kind of tasks or anything we can do with the router, feel free to leave it in the comment section and we will give a try. And just in case you want to give a try with this router, you can check out this product at store.gl-inet.com and we have like different types of power circuit plots so with US, EU and AU. So this is just a small router but powerful and we have just seen so far. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video. Bye bye.